Well, everybody, welcome to yet another plum crazy adventure. It's about 1.30 in the morning. I am alone and I'm headed to Disney. Super excited. I had some friends that invited me down for a little girl's trip, getting to know some things. And I'm flying out of the Cleveland airport, which is brand new for me. And like I said, it's about 1.30 in the morning. Uh, just got the car filled up and uh, we're gonna take a drive and check out the Cleveland International Airport. So come with me. in I was doing really good and then we stopped on the Ohio Turnpike sorry about that I had to shift I see people moving cones around so I'm hoping this doesn't take too long it doesn't look like it's gonna be very far on the map but I uh, was making really good time until then And by we, I mean me and my car, my baby. Uh, we went ahead and parked in the parking garage. I just wanted to make sure that uh, she wasn't out in the elements in case there's any severe weather up here being close to the lakes. And I also wanted to be really close to the airport itself so I could just get right in there, uh, figure out where TSA is and keep, keep going. Um, interesting when I was driving as soon as I got on the I-80 turnpike I was there for about a mile and I don't know if you'll see the video clip or not but uh, I ended up being stopped I had a complete stop for about 10-15 minutes and it was because there was a tractor trailer that right when the construction ended the one lane ended he broke down and so him and another truck driver were moving the um, cones and stuff around so that people could get around to them right there at that choke point so Always be nice to your truck drivers. Leave a few minutes early whenever you're going on a trip and uh, pack your patient pants. So now I think it's time for us to go in, find a restroom and uh, TSA opens at 4 a.m. according to the website. So that gives me about 15 minutes to get in there, use a the restroom and find a line. So let's get in there. So I just walked through those sliding doors um, right on the other side is the parking garage and you can also access this from the second floor gangway there's elevators and then right here is where we're gonna go and get checked in checked in at the South Point TSA. The line looked quite a bit shorter and I was right. Um, very, very easy to get in and out. I was very pleasantly surprised. Nice little airport. Now, I am in Concourse C right now, which I actually need to be in Concourse A, but that's not that difficult because that's where we are and right there is where my gate is. So we're gonna walk around a little bit and see what they have available. <laughs> this is for my friend, Matt. He is a Lego fiend and he would absolutely love the fact that they have a Lego vending machine in here. Also fun tip, they do offer 
fuel rod slots here. Plenty of seating over in here. Does look a little newer. We are over in the American Airlines wing. And you'll probably see more of me than anything else, but check out the planes. Check it out. Inca Tea Cafe. Not open, but that's a really cool looking little cafe. As you can see, Concourse C just keeps on going. There's Great Lakes Brewing Company, Potbelly Sandwich Shop, a Starbucks. So if you are wanting to get something to eat, something to drink before your flight, this is the place to come check out. And while it's not open yet, I see some people in there working right now. This Great Lakes Brewing Company looks awesome. And of course, we wouldn't be in Cleveland if there wasn't some kind of guitar art. I mean, this is where the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is. There you go. Celebrating the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This is Rusted Roots. It's interesting, the guitar is Rusted Roots, but then it's Steven Tyler on the banner promoting Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Just so you didn't think I thought that was a Rusted Roots, I, I know who Steven Tyler is. I'm planning on riding his roller coaster tomorrow. It better be open. Well, I have to say, I'm kind of impressed. Uh, very clean airport. Didn't have too much trouble getting into parking. Uh, TSA was a breeze at 4 a.m. I will say this airport has a lot of charter flights, so it's not always going to be a breeze for TSA. The, the TSA pre-check might be a good option for you. But um, yeah, had a pretty good morning so far. So just explored Concourse C. I'm going to start heading over towards Gate A. My uh, plane is supposed to start boarding at 5.15. It is about 4.10 now, so I've got a little bit over an hour to kind of snoop around, maybe grab something to eat. I don't know, I might do that once I get in Orlando. We'll have to see. Right here in the main part of the terminal, there's a Burger's Bagels, a Shake Shack, which isn't open yet, a Chick-fil-A, which won't open today because it's Sunday, a Chorito Burrito, and the ever-popular Dunkin' Donuts. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. If anyone hasn't been, well worth going. Tickets are a little steep, but so much history. Unfortunately, it doesn't look as though the pub is open yet. I already feel like I'm in the UK Pavilion at Epcot, though. Isn't this thing amazing? Look at the chairs! And the bar! Oh yeah. Definitely check this place out if it's open. Okay, I really like this little spot. Kinda wanna double check my gate. It was I might come back here and hang out here for a little bit. Look at the window seats. <laughs> oh. Service Animal Relief Area brought to you by Coastal Pet Products. Fun fact, I actually used to work in the uh, pet industry and Coastal is an amazing company. They do collars, leashes, harnesses, backpacks, all kinds of different things for your pet. Well worth putting a little bit of money into them. And they're an Ohio-based company. Found another guitar on display. Okay, on the gangway. Now I gotta find my seat. I've 
officially landed. I'm finally in Orlando. I'm so excited. Uh, now I'm going to find a restroom. I'm starting to see a theme here. And uh, then we're gonna go and check out the Sunshine Flyer shuttle service, which we have never used before. Um, I'm doing it for the first time ever by myself. Really looking forward to seeing how this goes. So keep watching. This is the old Disney Magic Transportation that has been taken over by Mirrors Connect. And there was nobody here right before I started recording this. So you can see it's not nearly as popular as it was with the Magic Express. So the one thing I will say about the Sunshine Flyers is the Mirrors Connect, which took over the Disney transportation section, for any of you that have been here before, have an idea of where the Magic Express was, walk all the way to the other end of B, uh, because I'm actually gonna be checking in outside at um, stop B3. There is a lovely gentleman in red, which is right there, um, that was kind enough to point me in the right direction. Uh, and he is making sure that people are aware. Yes, just keep going, just keep going. Um, starting to sound like Dory, but let's keep going. There she is. Now this one is actually going to a different zone. We are waiting on our bus to arrive, but they are finishing things up. And gotta admit, the buses are pretty cool looking. Check-in process was pretty simple. She's actually right around the corner. Where is she? There she is. So, come all the way to the end. Come talk to her or whoever is manning the Sunshine Flyer little kiosk and they'll tell you where to stand and which bus you're going to need to get on. Hey folks, once again, welcome aboard the Sunshine Flyer. My PA microphone does not work, so I've got to yell. So, uh, gonna, first of all, uh, is everybody excited to be here? Yeah. Yeah. That's going to wrap up my travel day video going from the Cleveland International Airport here to Orlando at the wonderful All-Star Music Resort. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so that you know when I upload new videos. With all that being said, are you guys ready for your next adventure? Because I'm ready to get you down here with me.